Hey, Harry Potter fans! Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. We have the next December Wizarding Trunk Box. We received two boxes in December, which is awesome! This one is their quarterly? No, this is their bi-monthly subscription box. I got confused the last unboxing. It was actually their quarterly box. This is their bi-monthly box. So the Wizarding Trunk has two different subscription options. A quarterly box, which you receive every three months, or a bi-monthly box, this one right here, which you receive every two months. And the theme for this Owlry quarterly box is... The Potions Master! Look at all of these potion designs on the box. Different potion bottles, absolutely glorious. Oh, this reminded me of something that I wanted to do sometime in the future. I'm not gonna tell you about that, but it reminded me of something I wanted to do in the future. Look at the back or the bottom there. Very just simple, cool design. The Wizarding Trunk logo. And then on the front we have the Owlry logo, the Wizarding Trunk presents the Potions Master Box. All right, I'm assuming there are gonna be like multiple potions in here, probably some potion items. I have no idea what's gonna be inside. So let's just open it up and find out. What's under the flap? More potions! Beautiful box design, absolutely love this. This would be a really cool box to display like so on your shelves or kind of like at an angle so you see two sides of the, the potions and then you could put potions on top and around it. Ideas, guys. All right, bum ba ba The box has been opened and we have a t-shirt. It's gonna be a potion t-shirt. So let's just go for the potion t-shirt. If you notice the t-shirt I was wearing, it is the Flying Club t-shirt, which came in the third Keep Collecting box. Currently, that's the only place you can purchase this t-shirt. Here's the logo on the back. Thought I'd show you guys. If you're interested in purchasing the third Keep Collecting box, check the description down below. And if you don't know what the third Keep Collecting box is, it's a collaboration between myself and the Wizarding Trunk. All right, let's take a look at what this potion t-shirt says and is and all the details. I like the color so far. Really nice gray coloring on the t-shirt. This heathered look, very similar to the Flying Club t-shirt. Oh man, these are so soft. The Wizarding Trunk has just exploded in softness when it comes to their t-shirts. Like they are so soft now. The Potions Master Brewing Company established 1978. The Potions Masters Brewing Company, bewitching minds and ensnaring senses since 1978. That's funny. It's a fun t-shirt. I like the color of the t-shirt itself. I like the heathered look. I like the basic white artwork. The Potion Masters Brewing Company. The one thing is there's a grammatical error on here, and I think it probably should have been called the Potions Master Brewing Company, because I don't think they're referring to multiple, multiple potion masters. Maybe they are, um, but if they are referring to multiple potion masters, uh, there there is a grammatical error. But that said, again, I love the, the color of the t-shirt, the softness of it, and the simplicity of the t-shirt design. It's cool that the front logo is different from the back. There's a little more detail on the back here. All right, let's see what is next. We have, ooh, I like this. We've got a pin, a two clasp pin. Love this design. There's a little label on this potion bottle that says death. Is this the draft of the living death? Yeah, draft, it's not drought. It's not the drought of the living death, it's draft of the living death. I always get the two confused, but this is an awesome pin. Check it out, look at that skull topper there, that kind of cork topper, but it's a skull. And the potion bottle is filled with skulls, wrapped up in just like this old rope and it's just simmering inside the potion bottle. Love it. This is such a cool design. All right, we've got something wrapped in bubble wrap and inside the bubble wrapped item, is, this is beautiful, this is awesome. This is a little statue of a Doe Patronus, AKA Snape's Patronus, or Lily's Patronus. Look at this, isn't that gorgeous? Love the blue color, love the proportions of the dough, like everything is just really, really nice. A beautiful Doe Patronus, that's awesome, love this. Okay, we have, oh, is this another vial? <gasps> this could be another vial because 
It, this is giving me like pensive or Dumbledore's cabinet vibes. Do we have another memory vial? Or is this like just a potion? It is, it's another memory vial. Oh, awesome, awesome. Okay, this is probably gonna be Snape's memory, I would guess. Oh, it's more than just Snape's memories. It's Snape's final memories. That just gave me all the feels, all the feels. So you can now have those final memories that we see pouring out of Snape that he gives to Harry on his death, I was gonna say deathbed, but his death stone floor. This is just lovely. Like it's really, really nice. I have all of the other wizarding trunk memory vials up there. And I hope that they continue to pour these out because these are items that look fantastic in massive numbers. I mean, similar to potions, but these are just so sleek and beautiful. And oh my goodness, I'm so excited to have another one. Snape's final memories. This is beautiful. On the inside is this very light blue liquid and swirly glitter, just making it look as though this is a memory taken directly from Snape's brain. And these are made out of glass. Like this isn't like plastic nonsense. These are hand blown glass memory vials. Very delicate, so be careful where you put them. Blown glass, beautiful. And I love the boxes they come in too. All right, we've got a big box for Ron right here. <laughs> a big uh, box for Ron, a big old brown box for Ron. What is on the inside of this big old box for Ron? We've got some foam. Oh, fun! Measuring scales, potion class memory scale, or memory, weighing scales. <laughs> memory scales? Where did that come from? I was just talking about the memory vial. This is very fun. It has a very old, kind of worn appearance and look to it. I like the shading of the black on here and like the top almost looks like it's been kind of corroded and rusted away. And then we have the little scale trays or bowls here that pop on either side. And one of the things I always appreciate with the Wizarding Trunk is they don't just use cheap plastic materials with their items. This is metal, this is made out of metal. The chains are metal, the, the little baskets are metal. Really, really nice. And my guess is that this is probably something you could use to actually weigh things because again, that's the Wizarding Trunk for you. They're not just gonna produce some junky stuff and put it in the boxes for you. A very cool potions shelf display play piece for sure. Lovely. We holy cow, what is this? Is this a book box? But look at this book and it's a box, it's a book box. So I'll show you what I mean by book box in a second, but here's the front. Here is the side and the back and what does the back say? Let's take a look. Immerse yourself in the world of potion making with the Potion Master's Guidebook. Within these pages, you'll uncover the Potion Master's complete guide to advanced potion making, including a comprehensive collection of rewritten, refined, and improved potion recipes, making it, oh, I wonder if there would be recipes in here, making it an essential companion for both novice and experienced potioneers alike. Whether you're brewing for personal empowerment or seeking to impress at your next wizarding gathering, this book will be your trusted source for mastering your craft and unlocking the true potential within your cauldron. So when you open it up, oh cool, it's a notepad. All right, so this is what I mean by book box. Oh, there's a magnet too to keep it closed. So you open it up and it's a little book box and you can store items in it. So we're gonna store Lily's Doe Patronus or Snape's Doe Patronus inside our book box. And when you open it up, there it is. These are sometimes called hide a books or something um, where you hide things within a book. But here is what we received with this book box, a very fun designed notepad to write down your potion recipes or whatever else you would like to write down, your lists, your shopping lists. I like this notepad a lot. Oh, nice, it's double-sided. Dun dun da. Very cool. We have a brew it yourself potion kit Swelling serum, look at that poor little toad on there, or is that a frog? That would be a frog. He might be a toad. It's a toad or a frog. Let me know down below what you think that might be. But here is this 
beautiful box. Oh, is that going to be the swelling solution or serum that we receive? I'm not sure. Only the purest of potions, pure blood apothecary. Please follow the provided instructions while completing this brew-it-yourself potion kit. Ingredients include a glass bottle, two labels, pickled boom slang liquid, puffer fish eyes, metal stirring rod. Not included is moon water, but haha, -ha, good thing I've been drinking moon water all morning, so I've got some in my my little water bottle right there. Warning causes enlargement on contact. So I'm gonna just cast a little spell over my hands so that they're protected as we are brewing this potion. Let's take a look at what is inside. This is going to be a huge bottle. Look at this. Now this is a bottle worthy of a potions master box. Got the cork there. What else did we receive? Oh, look at all this stuff. All right, we have a wax stick or candle, two labels, I'm guessing one goes around the neck of the potion and then one goes down here. What else was included? Um, I know the boom slang, pickled boom slang liquid. Oh, these are the puffer fish eyes. All right, so we have puffer fish eyes right here and then the boom slang or pickled boom slang liquid. Our metal stirring stick. This is really nice actually. You could use this like later to stir your coffee or whatever. All right, so let's do this potion right here, right now, as we, oh wait, we gotta get the instructions. All right, so swelling serum, there's still more stuff inside here, but we're gonna take a break and become potion masters. All right, so here are the instructions for the swelling serum. We've got a bunch of frogs on there. Now those look like frogs to me. And there's a young witch who drank too much swelling solution and a young wizard who put some swelling solution on his nose. Ingredients, moon water, pickled boom slang, five puffer fish eyes whole. And then you need a metal stirring rod, glass bottle, cork and stopper, and wax for sealing the bottle. Prepare your workspace, well lit quiet area. All right, take the glass potion bottle and place it on a clean, flat surface. This will be the vessel for the swelling serum. Then we want to pour moon water into the bottle until almost full. I'm so glad I had this, this moon water. I've been harvesting it for quite some time because it's very good for you. All right, almost full. Add liquid of pickled boom slang to the bottle. Here's the pickled boom slang liquid. Now this stuff is dangerous, so you don't want to get this anywhere but inside your potion, okay? Then we want to carefully pour five pufferfish eyes into the glass potion bottle. I just feel like I should shake this up a little bit. Yeah, there's some magic on the bottom of the bottle. So shake your bottle a little bit to make sure all of that magic is mixed into this liquid. Three, four, and five. That's five pufferfish eyes in here. Using the metal stirring rod, stir counterclockwise seven stirs, then one stir clockwise. Repeat this step three times without stopping. Oh boy. <gasps> I'm scared. Okay, ready? Counterclockwise seven times, then one stir clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three. After stirring, your potion should take on a shimmering, iridescent green quality. Seal the potion bottle tightly with cork or stopper, ensuring it's secure to preserve its potency. Gently swirl the bottle to ensure all ingredients are fully integrated. You should see a shimmer if the potion has been brewed correctly. Let's see if we brewed our potion correctly. I am seeing a shimmer. Look at that, y'all. We have just brewed our very own swelling serum. Allow potion to sit undisturbed for at least four days. All right, but we are not done yet. We still have to seal this bottle up with our wax stick. Put this bubble wrap underneath so that our box doesn't get dirty. One thing I should have done before doing the wax was put on the label. Because it dripped down the side here and we still have to put the label on. So I'm just cleaning up the dripped wax and then we're actually going to add some dripped wax to the bottle itself because I like that look. This one on the neck of the bottle. And make sure this is perfectly centered. All right, I'm going to add some finishing touches of wax. Well, it's not the prettiest potion, 
my fault. But here is the Swelling Serum by Pure Blood Apothecary. Love the label. I love, of course, the do-it-yourself potion aspect. Perfect for this box. All right, what do we have left in here? <gasps> A key. No? Yes? No. The Copper Kettle Inn and Pub. Oh! Guys, we have a hog on here. So the Wizarding Trunk has started a new collection of hog head related items, like um, a tableware. So they released a little pitcher for like creamer or something. And we have the next item in the collection. So, all right, so here's the box, the copper kettle, pub and inn, or inn and pub. And what is gonna be in here? Maybe like a spoon set or something? It is! <gasps> Look! We have a serving, like a sugar spoon and like a stirring spoon made out of solid wizard's gold with the hog's heads on top of the spoons. Check that out. Very, very fun items. And these will look great with the, the rest of the collection. Now in the spoons themselves are little cauldrons. Personally, I would rather those not be there, but they're still very fun items and love those hogs on the top, which are double-sided. You get a hog on the front and a hog face on the back. Can't wait to see what the next item in the collection is going to be. This is a great box, very good box. All right, we have some prints in here as well as the cheat sheet. We have this lovely print, artwork showing the potions classroom. Look at all those potion ingredients on the wall. And what are they making? Oh, fun. Okay, so there are actually items that you receive. That's one of the things I love about the Wizarding Trunk is they have little Easter eggs like that in their artwork. So we have the scales, we have the swelling solution, the book box, we have, oh, we have this artwork too, which we'll take a look at in a second. We have the draft of the living death, we have the little Patronus, and the memory vial. Very, very fun. Everything or almost everything is included in this artwork. And last but not least is a art print apothecary chart, a quick reference to common components. On here is armadillo bile, hellebore, dragon scales, belladonna, scarab beetles, pufferfish eyes, giant spider venom, pickled slugs, boom slang skin, and moon water. Very cool print. And the last item in the box is the spoiler sheet, which is the master of potions. Let's read this and see what we can learn about the items included. Potion Master's Silver Scales. This set of vintage silver scales are used by and sold exclusively to Potion Masters. Brew it yourself, Potions Kit. Welcome to Potions class, students. All materials are provided in this Potions Kit to brew the Swelling Serum. If another student happens to throw a firecracker into your potion while brewing, you may need the recipe for the shriveling solution on page 47. Be sure to keep your included metal stirring rod for any future brew-it-yourself potions. All included ingredients are cosmetic grade and skin safe. That's a fun little reference to the books when a firecracker was put into a potion to create a diversion so that someone could sneak into the Potion Master's cupboard or storeroom and steal a couple ingredients. Potion Master's Guidebook. This book box is the perfect place to store all of your potion recipe pages from the Potion Master's Guidebook or even some of your rarer potion making ingredients that your students may be trying to steal. Potion Master's Notebook. This double-sided notepad can be used to write down new potion recipes or revise some of the classics. Vial of the Past. These exclusive hand-blown vials will take you back to some very insightful and unexpected memories. Potion Master's Brewing Company Shirt. This magically soft shirt is given to those that visit the Potion Master's Brewing Company. Apothecary Chart. This apothecary chart adorns the wall in Potion Master's study. The dough. This dough stands as a reminder to love, always. Fame, glory, and death pin. You will have received one of three pin variations. Swelling Serum Recipe. This page will give you detailed instructions for brewing your swelling serum right out of the Potion Master's Guidebook. Recipe by the Wizarding Trunk. Copper Kettle Sugar and Tea Spoons. These sugar and teaspoons will help you master your morning potions even if they are just tea and coffee. These food safe zinc alloy spoons are dishwasher safe, but hand wash recommended. 
Potion Master's Study Print. A look into the study of the Potion Master. How many items from this box can you find inside? And the editor's choice for this box is the Potter Addict. You can find the Potter Addict on YouTube at the dot potter dot addict. And then on the bottom here, we have some design credits, and then you can see what items were designed by which designer. The next bi-monthly theme is good versus evil, and I mentioned in the previous unboxing video that the Wizarding Trunk told me to tell you that you don't want to miss this box. The good versus evil box is going to blow people's socks off, and in the past when the Wizarding Trunk has said that, it has indeed blown people's socks off. So if you wanna get in on the Wizarding Trunk, this may be the best box for that, and it is coming next time, so it'll be coming in February, and again, the theme is good versus evil, so check the description down below if you would like to sign up and secure that box for yourself. All right, let's take a look at some favorites and least favorite items. Of the prints, I really like this one. I think this one's very cool. I also do love when we receive a J.P. Mistlecrow print like this. I mean, her style is just very cool and whimsical and magical, and the fact that she includes items from the box, so much fun. Always love myself a new memory vial, so this is a favorite. Love the pin. Love, love, love the design of the pin. The do-it-yourself potion kit is always fun. Um, least favorite item would probably be... I mean, it's hard because I love the Wizarding Trunk t-shirts, but probably the t-shirt, not just because of the error, but I feel like design-wise, it, it could have been done a little bit differently. Maybe a few less words. Love the softness of it. Love, love, love the softness of it. And the fact that the front logo and the back logo are a little bit different, so you get some more detail on the back, as I mentioned earlier. But I think this was a great box overall, a great representation of, of the Potion Master. I love that it wasn't just full of potions but potion-related things. You know, it represented Snape as opposed to, like, just potions in general. So I very much like the direction that the Wizarding Trunk took with this box. What about you guys? Let me know and the rest of the Potter Collector community know in a comment down below what you thought about this box. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? What were your favorite items? What were some of your least favorite items, if you had any? Share your thoughts down below. And again, if you would like to subscribe to the Wizarding Trunk or purchase any of their items or previous boxes that they have available, check the description down below. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, on Twitter, now known as X, at Potter Collector, or on Discord. The official Potter Collector Discord is linked down below. Now it's time to like comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome. We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?